Okay, in this uh, first video, we're going to have a look at um, our first look at Visual Basic 6, and we're going to familiarize ourselves with the IDE, with the integrated development environment. Um, when it, a program first comes up on screen, there's such a lot to think about. Um, there's all these buttons all the way around the screen. There's these different windows, different boxes, so we're just going to try and get to grips with what some of those are for, not all of them, but what some of them are for. Uh, we're going to have a look at a working program um, and talk about how Visual Basic 6 is used in the real world. First thing we look at is what is called the object window. That is this window here. And what you do with the object window is this that is where you build what your software will look like. So the bit of software that um, I'm using or I've, I'm building with this particular Visual Basic project is just a simple little login screen. So we've got a box for a username and for a password and a login button there. We've even got a picture and a little checkbox on there. So that screen there is called the object screen. And if that ever goes missing, you can go to view and object or you shift in F7 to find it. So that's the object screen. The other main screen for doing your work is called the code screen and that usually loads up as well when we first load up a project. Um, so here is our code window and again you can see the code window by going to view there um, and in there we'll be able to see all the code for a project um, and you can see there's not that massive amount of code for this little app that I've built for logging in. Um, you'd see lots more code in bigger applications that are built with Visual Basic. To get the various components onto a form to get those drawn on there you would use another key part of the screen which is called the toolbox and the toolbox is over here on the left hand side and you would draw on um, components which are actually called controls all these things on here are controls you draw those on by clicking on a chosen control from the toolbox uh, drawing it on and then you get that control so I just draw on a text box there I'm just going to delete that I could draw on a button, so a command button, just click on that and draw that on and then we get a new button and that's how the toolbox works. When you draw on a control onto your form then you will be wanting to pay attention to yet another window in VB6 which is called the properties window and that's where you can set a lot of different properties for a control. For instance, if I wanted to change the uh, color of a text box, then I'd click on that text box, I'd look for back color on there, I might choose a nice red, and then I've got a red text box and start instead of a white one. I would also give each control a name, so we can see that that particular text box for typing in a username is called txt username and the txt bit at the beginning um, is for um, making sure that whenever we're using txt username in our code that we know it's a text box that we're referring to that's why we put the txt at the beginning if it's a command button then we might use cmd as the prefix for the control name. So when it's referenced in the code, we know it's a command button. And that's useful, that's called naming conventions, and we'll look at that uh, in more detail another time. If I double click on a control that's on my form, then it takes me straight to the code that will be executed when that button is clicked on and that's another handy feature of VB6.
Now, it's all very well building an application and being able to change colors and uh, fonts and size of things and whatever and adding in all your code, but it's only useful if we can actually run it and try it out. Um, Visual Basic's got a little run button or start button there on the keyboard. I think you'll find that using F5 on your keyboard does the same. So if we run it, then our application could becomes live and somebody can test it out. So this little application just uh, tests for, um, validates um, a username and a password. And if I'm putting in the wrong things, it'll moan at me, which is what you might expect. Then eventually, if I do get the right username and password, then I'll get a message saying I've been successful. So very simple, um, but um, just one example of a little app that you can try out using VB6. When you um, save a VB6 project. You don't just get one file, you get several. Um, the FRM and the FRX files are the design, so how it looks, and the code for your form. And then the VBP and the VBW files bundle everything together because you may have in your Visual Basic project more than one of these forms. There might be several in your project window here. You might switch between forms. So the VPP and the VBW bundle everything together. So typically, when you save a new Visual Basic project, you get four files. And the one you would load up will be the VBP. And that would load up everything into Visual Basic for you. Also, you might have files that you link to from your Visual Basic project. For instance, I have a uh, file here with several usernames and passwords in there, um, and that is linked to from my Visual Basic um, project, and that's where it gets the usernames and passwords from to check to see if they're correct. Um, and that's just a simple text file that's quite easy to link to. Um, if we look at the About Visual Basic in the help, we'll see that this version, 6, uh, was actually um, released in the year 2000. So it's quite old now. Um, it's certainly not the latest version of Visual Basic. However, it is still used massively um, across the ICT industry. Um, instead of linking up to little text files, um, in the real world, we'd probably find that businesses that use this would link up to big databases and work with data using Visual Basic. Um, it is still used, like I say, by lots and lots of companies and people still earn a lot of money from programming Visual Basic. Um, and hopefully that's a good introduction to the environment. So remember we've got our object window we've got our code window, we've got our toolbox, we've got the properties window, and then we need to remember that we can run projects, and when we save them, they will have several files that are saved, and the VBP is probably the key one, because that's the one we'll come back to when we load it again. Um, in the next video, we will have a look at how you get started and building your own Visual Basic 6 project. Um, thanks for watching.